hi guys and welcome back to my channel i'm here to do a small quick video yes i'm sitting in my car and it's raining and it's getting chilly and um yeah so look at this let's see if i can switch okay well i don't know how to switch it so if you can see behind me from my car window it's raining it's really quiet um, I decided to come outside because I was dropping off something to my husband at the job. And um, my downstairs reception is not that great it's now that it's raining. Okay, so back to my video. Um, I am doing a video on fish. You guys know I made a, um, another video about my beta fish so i was watching a video and her name is let me see if i find it um ray's aquaria so i was watching one of her videos and she was doing story time about my f worst day in fish keeping okay so my worst day in fish keeping which is probably a lot but there's one that is kind of funny and it's kind of like so sad but um i went to bear mountain with my husband and his friends and some of our you know people that we usually hang out with and his friend um goes fishing so bear mountain is basically is it bear mountain bear mountain yeah i think it is bear mountain anyway bear mountain has a lake which is not ocean it's handmade man-made whatever you want to call it so they like to go fishing and they collect these oscar looking not oscar i mean i don't know their fish is about this big and so him and the grandkid his grandkids and stuff like that we were fishing or whatever doing barbecue and this was a few years ago so they collected a big bucket full of fish and they didn't want to toss it out the kids wanted to keep it Okay, so they brought it home and they decided, the parents, of course, decided that they didn't want the fish. <coughs> oh, excuse me. So, of course, we decided, okay, we have a big fish tank that we're not doing anything with. Put the fish in there. There's about maybe 10 fish. And like I said, they're about this big. Maybe um, they're four inches wide or big, whatever you want to call it, or long. And... um. Yeah, everything was fine for the first week and feeding them and they were eating and whatever. Not realizing that they're not like freshwater fish where sometimes freshwater fish you add some um, liquids to keep the water clean. <sighs> Guys, I killed the fish. They were, I, I you were supposed to just leave the lake water alone and as it gets dirty i mean i guess you empty it out and add more and i wanted to be all fancy and added some some um i guess chlor chlorine or whatever you call it to clean the fish and um or the fish water to keep it clean and and with the um how you say like with medicine and stuff to make it you know the water healthier for the fish oh poor fishes i tell you if my husband tells you the story I think you're going to die laughing because as soon as I cleaned the water, threw the fish back in, as soon as I hit the water, they were. Guys, they suffocated because of the chemicals and not realizing that they were, um, <laughs> that they were, um, lake water fish. So basically you're not supposed to do anything. They, they wild. So you just leave the water alone. Oh god i felt so bad and when my husband came home he was like like he couldn't even believe it he was like yeah i'm that crazy that dumb to 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 add stuff to the water not realizing that it's not like a regular fish that you can put chemicals in it and they'll be all right oh my poor fish the poor lake fish i would never forget that day oh my god i killed I think it was about eight of them. I'm not sure if it was eight or ten. But there were a few of them. And one by one, they were all looking like this. They were going. 
and <laughs> I'll tell you no lie. Oh my God. But anyway, that is my worst um, fish keeping story. So, okay guys, I hope you enjoy my little fish story and um, I'll see you next time. Bye and God bless. Have a nice day. Bye.